you suspect a leaking capacitor, what do you do? Well, first off, remove your ECU from your car. Now, it seems like that'd be a daunting task, but on a Toyota Supra, it's right at the footwell. A couple of plastic clips and a couple of 10 millimeter uh, nuts and removing the harness and boom, your ECU's out. So there's these screws up here. And what I did is I removed these screws because they say that you just remove this top cover and you can look at it. <laughs> well guys, I removed these screws and this top cover did not move. And the reason why is that there's like this plastic rubbery seal on there and it has been baked on there and good luck trying to get it off. Using a flathead, you're gonna be bending this aluminum top and it's just, it's just really bad. Here's a tip, get a uh, blow dryer or heat gun and just heat around here. Don't, you know, of course this is electronics, so you wanna just place a heat gun or, or on the same position. But what you're doing is you just wanna heat up the area and then once it's kind of nice and hot, what that's gonna do is gonna loosen up that uh, adhesiveness to that seal and then you could pry it up a lot easier. So at this point, we're gonna pull up on the circuit board, but you wanna be very careful and very slowly you're gonna pull up on it because below it, there's gonna be some ribbons and you don't wanna pry on those. Now I did see in another video where somebody stuck a, a screwdriver like right here to hold it, which actually that worked out really nicely. And at this point in time, you can look inside your circuit board and look for those caps. So once you pry that open, essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna lock it, look at your board. And this is a picture of the capacitors you're gonna be looking at, they're brown. And essentially you're gonna be just looking at anything that just looks like rust in the bottom of their little legs. And the legs is where they connect. And you wanna look around, you're also gonna to wanna to look kind of something that looks like, a, you know that hot glue, you know, either like brown or just like a clearish, murkyish, glue looking stuff at the bottom. Essentially that means that the capacitor's just leaking. When you, you have to look at all the brown caps, pretty much, that's what they call them, and just look around. If you're unsure, you could send pictures or you could post them on the forums or talk to the guys out there, but most likely you'll be able to see if it's leaking. Well guys, I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions about leaking capacitors, let me know. And uh, if you just have any questions for me or anything like that, as far as troubleshooting your car, or you think it's your ECU, hit me up and I'll help you out.